something about being on a deserted, disused road with, you know, flowers everywhere and no one around, it just kind of inspires a kind of sense of surreal that is really surreal. I haven't seen a human being uh, since I very first uh, got on the trail. Cultural endeavors abound. Strangely new and modern. It's very pretty. What I've got here is a view of another waterfall. This little shrine here. Much bigger than some of the others I've seen. It's an offering table, clearly. Like, ooh, it's echoey in here. It's even got the little fortune telling moon things, but I'm not going to try to divine my fortune at this juncture. So, about that abandoned amusement park, apparently that wasn't the gate before. This is the gate of the amusement park, so we're going to go in here and, uh, a little bit weird. Oh great, stray dogs. Just hoping you Baba and Komaji aren't in here trying to get me to work the boiler or anything. So here's the old ticket booth and a map of what this place used to have. Old ticket booth. Old trolley stop. Oh yeah. Just waiting for the turnip guy to show up now. This is very Spirited Away-esque. Because I've got a long way down to go. And this would be, yeah, really slippy and treacherous in the rain. Bamboo abounds! It's a bit crookedy, though. A few little obstructions here and there. Such as these. So here we're missing a chunk of the trail which has simply fallen away. Okay, now we have some sort of large bridge-like structure and a lot of flowers and some big moth butterfly thing flapping on it. Oh, it's a butterfly. It's a weird looking butterfly. So we got a spider. Now these flowers are just extremely bright. And it's the kind of soft pink ones and the really, really like magenta ones. Wow. Very pretty. I've once again decided to go on a little off-trail expedition here. Now I've now reached the bottom of the bridge. Now I'm going to do what I do best, which is play around on rocks. So the path has now led me to railroad track. I've decided to head to Shurfan uh, because it's pretty early in the day still and I might be able to get a train to Taipei and do a little poking around get some dinner there before I go back to Keelong but also because the guidebook says that if I go this way I have to go through a tunnel at which point I should take care and uh, watch out for oncoming trains so I have my Surefire with me so, we're going to see how scary this tunnel is. But I just think there's something at, you know, almost sunset about following the railway tracks into town that's quite uh, romantic, I guess. At least for, in the sense of adventure. So, I'm going to go where the adventure leads me. Well, the tunnel is a bit disappointing because I can see light at the other side. Although there is this sign that says no entry, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, it's definitely really narrow, so I need to be through before any trains come through. Well, that was pretty fun. I just pretty much ran through it since there was no way to get clear. The train came. But 
It was kind of short. I didn't really need the flashlight except in the middle to just kind of see what kind of gravel I was on. <laughs> 